What's going on YouTube? Nicholas here with Tech Love TV, where we don't discriminate and we believe all tech deserves some love. Some love, it's love day. I'm sure yeah, people love out here on the court. So if you've been following my channel for a little bit, you will know that I am a huge fan of neckband headphones. And if there's a neckband headphone out there, I will go out of my way to buy, test, review, and often use it as my daily driver when I'm commuting back and forth to work. I just love neckband headphones. Product descriptions and link will be in the description down below. So go ahead and check that out. On my sales slogan, you want it, I got it. If I ain't got them, to get it. So get it while the getting's good. And also, if this is your first time here, please hit that subscribe button, smash that bell icon so that you get notifications on when I drop my latest tech videos. And this company right here, Liner, they did an amazing job with these headphones. These neckband headphones I found on Amazon, they go on Amazon for about $70, are available in a black, blue, and a white color as well. The black and blue, no, the black ones can be found on Amazon. I didn't find the white and blue ones on Amazon, but I did find, I did find the white and blue ones on Liner's website. And on the website, you can get these headphones for about, give me one second, $90. So if you want to save $20, pick these up on Amazon. They're going for $70 on Amazon. So real quick, let me go around this box. Leader Active Noise Canceling Experts. It shows the NC50 Pro logo at the bottom. And they also have this Batman, this little fake me out Batman um, symbol right here. It's their mascot, liner brand mascot. His name is Fu. I don't know if you can see that. Let me try and get a, up close on that. Got their little mascot right here. His name is Fu. Nice touch. On the back side, we have some of the specs on the back side. So it's a it's an in-ear design. It weighs about 36 grams, 200 milliamp hour battery, uh, micro USB charging. Noise reduction up to 28 decibels. Frequency range is 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz. ANC technology is the noise reduction system. And for the ANC, they have two mics for the ANC and one mic to talk on. They also have their company website on top, www.liner.io. And you'll also find that in the description down below as always. When I first got this box in my hand, it's, it's, a, it's a pretty nice box and and I don't know if this is the right thing to do, but I often make my first impression of the company, not the product of the company, by the detail that goes into their packaging. You, you see it all the time, Apple, Samsung, Sony, they all have great packaging for their premier products. And so when I got this box in my hand, I was like, wow. So the box is like a matte black, but then all of the pictures and the writing on here is like a glossy type feel. So when I got this in my hand, I was like, okay, I'm impressed. I like, I like what I'm seeing so far. So without further ado, let me go ahead and open the box and show you exactly why I love these headphones so much. And yes, I did say love because these are my new go-to and these headphones are pretty much amazing. On the inside of the box, you'll notice the headphones right away in this little plastic tray right here. You got the headphones in this plastic cutout nicely on display. And underneath you have this black envelope. And on the inside, you have your basic stuff. You have a carrying pouch. You have the USB mini charging cable. You also have this package right here, which comes with replacement ear hooks and ear tips, which I will get into a little bit later. Nicely packaged on the inside as well. So in total, you have three air hooks and three ear tips. Two, two come in this box right here and, all, and obviously one already on the headphones. And then last but not least, you have some literature to tell you how to use that. When you take these headphones out of the box, the neckband is not as thick as your normal style neckband headphones. And you can go into my video catalog and see some of the other neckband headphones that I reviewed. And this is more durable, obviously. It seems like these were made to work out in. So this neckband right here is, uh, is more flexible so that you can fold them up when you put them in the bag. So what I noticed with this neckband right here not being as big as the other neckband style headphones, 
I can work out in these. So when I work out, um, more than likely, I'm, I'm jumping rope. That's a great way to stay in shape. I jump rope and when I'm bouncing up and down, there's not that much weight to the neck band, so it's not flopping all over the place. And I was actually really surprised about that. Went running a little bit and I would, able, I would be able to run, jump rope, move around with ease with these on while I was at the gym. And I was very excited about that. And so that brings me to my next point. These are IPX4 rated, so they're waterproof and splash proof um, so that goes a long way if you d do decide to work out on these headphones so on the right side and all the buttons are configured on the right side USB mini charging port right here and I'll throw some b-roll in there so that you can see it better you also have your on and off switch which also doubles as most do as your Bluetooth connectivity. So you hold this down, you turn it on, and you keep holding on to the on and off switch and it activates the Bluetooth and then you pair it to your phone. You also have the ANC button right here, which I will get into a little bit later. Further down on the cord, you have your inline control. You have the plus and minus buttons, which also doubles as your volume up and volume down and your track forward and track back. You have the button in the middle, which is your multi-function button, which plays and pauses your music, answers and ends phone calls, and also you can hold it down to activate your voice assistant on your mobile device. These cords in length, they measure about eight inch, eight and a half inches. They're, they're, not, they're not long at all to be honest with you. Once you have them on and you throw them in your ears, the cord, they're like average size for any neck band style headphones. They don't hang down. They don't hang down much at all. It's it's just, I don't know if I have a long neck or whatever, but they're, they're perfect size for me. So now going down to the earpieces themselves, on the top side of the earpieces, you will notice that the there are the microphones right there on the top side um, for the noise cancellation and then they're also magnetic as well so that when you have them hanging around your neck and you not they're, they're not in use you can go ahead and just clip them together and then there's two parts on the ear pieces so you have the ear tips themselves which are removable and i haven't looked to see if comply if comply has tips for these but if they do i will be purchasing those and then you also have the ear hooks right here and there's multiple sizes just depending on how your ear shape and funny enough all headphones all in-ear headphones for me i guess i just have average ears all headphones for me, I, I never really have to change out whether it's the ear hooks or the ear tips. I never really have to change them out. What's ever put on them by the manufacturer is what always works for me. So I don't have problems with switching ear hooks and ear tips out and ear fins out. So I'm good to go when it comes to this. And also you, on the back side of the inline remote, you have your microphone for talking as well. So the battery life on these is about 13 hours. Um, with the ANC button activated, it drops down to around nine hours. And to charge these up when these go fully dead, takes about two hours. I listen to these headphones 100% with the ANC activated. And I never had these, these go dead on me. I mean, I use these as soon as I walk out my door, I have them on playing music in my ear and when I get to work they, they're, they're either on or in standby mode the entire time until I get home then I cut them off with them on the charger so that's around maybe from about seven o'clock in the morning to about six o'clock in the evening and not one time have I had these headphones run out of battery on me but I also do make sure I charge these up on a regular basis you also have bluetooth 4.1 technology in these headphones so that means you can pair these to two different devices at the same time say it's your cell phone and a tablet at the same time and whatever you're doing it'll switch back automatically so like i said before these are ipx4 rated so that you can take these to the gym and you don't have to worry about sweating too much in them and ruining them because they're supposedly good to last from what i've tested out they're good to go mine still work i haven't had any problems now i didn't go swimming in them obviously because they're not rated for that but they are waterproof and splash proof um, which is a great touch so the sound quality i'm very impressed um 
The sound quality on these headphones, I'm very impressed. I don't know if it's because I've been using my other neck band headphones for, for a while now, but when I switched over to these, I noticed a difference right away. They're loud, the sound is crisp, it's clear, and it actually has decent bass for being in-ear headphones. As soon as I turned these on, I was extremely excited. I always blast my music in my ears, and but I have to be honest with you, I'm not an audiophile, so don't sit there and say, oh my God, this guy lied and said this about this. For me, the sound quality on these headphones are amazing. Now, I've tested out other neckband headphones. I've tested out Clips, I've tested out um, Sennheisers, um, I've tested out some Sonys. And in no way, shape, or form, the sound quality with those other neckband headphones that I use are better than these. And with the price point of these being $70, I think that's that's just something that puts these over the top of those other companies when it comes to the sound quality and the overall manufacturing of these headphones. I just like these a whole lot better. Um, don't get me wrong, the Clips headphones were nice, but I just didn't like how they were, the, the material that they were built with. And I'll also put a YouTube card up here to my headphone playlist so that you can go and look through all of that as well. But the sound quality for these headphones for $70, I don't think that you can beat them, to be honest with you. I mean, there might be other headphones out there that might sound better, but from what I've tested out and what I what I use on a daily basis, these headphones right here are amazing. So I do need to be 100% transparent with you about this ANSI button. So the ANSI button, so the active noise cancellation on let's just say over the ear headphones. If you have those, if you have those turned on and on your head with no music playing, you you turn the active noise cancellation on. You can tell, you can hear uh, the two microphones and each um, headphone working to to keep the sound out. It actually gets quieter. But with these, it to me, this is just my opinion. The ANC button seems more like a volume boost. I mean, in essence, yeah, it does cancel out more noise because it does get louder, but it just seems like more of a volume boost than a noise cancellation feature. But to be honest with you, I'm still impressed by it. The volume boost, it does cut out a lot of noise, and so it does cancel, it does cancel out more sound, but it doesn't seem to me that it's really an active noise cancellation, but it still wasn't a deal breaker for me. I still love these headphones. I still rock these headphones with the active noise cancellation feature on just because it's louder. And so I'm not making that a con in my book. You might make that a con in your book, but for me, I can't knock these headphones because of that, simply because I like the volume boost as well. So overall, I'm 100% satisfied with these headphones. And if you're someone that's in the market for neck band style headphones and you don't want to pay over $100 for maybe some Sony's, some Sennheisers, or some Clips, you definitely need to give these liner headphones a shot. I'm just amazed, the sound quality, the bass, the, the the design, the build of these headphones, they're just amazing. And there's nothing negative that I can say about these headphones. And to be completely honest with you, since these headphones are only $70, I would go as far as to say that, in my opinion, from what I've tested out and what I've seen so far, and the sound quality with these, these are by far the best headphones that I have tested out and tried on my channel, period. I mean, as of right now, as of as of October 15, 2018, these liner neckband headphones, the NC50 Pros, it blows the competition out the water simply because of the price point, the design, the sound quality, and everything. These neckband headphones, to me, are the best neckband style headphones that I have tried out. And I will I will be using these as my daily drivers for headphones when I'm on the go. So as always, thanks for watching the Tech Love channel. If this is your first time here, please feel free to hit that subscribe button down below and make sure you smash that bell icon so that you can get notifications on when I drop my latest tech videos. And if you found information in this video in any way to be helpful, go ahead and like, comment, share,
And if you didn't find this video to be helpful anyway, still go ahead and like, comment, share. Negative comments, positive comments, I'm on the lookout for all of them. It only makes me a better YouTube creator and be able to get this message out to these companies to make better products for you, the consumer. That's who I think about when I'm making these YouTube reviews. So as always, my name is Nicholas and I'm out. Peace.